Hey guys, welcome to our first automation series video today. Um, in this series, I'm hoping to kind of just create some videos that are just focusing on things that you can automate, whether it's in your home lab um, or in like a work environment, pretty much anywhere of just simple tasks like, you know, patching a server or something else like creating a server from a VM through vCenter, how to automate some of this so that you can help streamline your processes um, to make it so that you don't have to manually do it. Um, and kind of, this is a little bit how I use uh, my automation to kind of help me scope out, you know, my home lab series videos and, you know, easily create VMs or rotate them um, so that I'm not manually just, you know, spending time to do it. So hopefully you guys have some fun with this series. And if you're wanting to learn more about, you know, different things that you can automate or things that you want me to try to automate, please leave a comment in the, uh, please leave a comment below. So. Um, let's get started. So in this video, we will be doing patching. So essentially, you know, everyone hates it, but it's something that you should do consistently because um, patching is a good thing um, in regard, especially in like a production environment um, that you're hosting, you know, a public website. Um, patch, keeping things up to date will make sure that, you know, you're less vulnerable to security risks that people have um, found in older versions of packages. So um, I'm going to show you how you can patch your Linux servers. Um, in this case, I'm going to be doing it on my Oracle Linux 8 box, but you could essentially kind of apply this to mostly almost anything. Um, you might just have to use a different YAM mod, uh, module, the app module instead of like YAM yeah, if you're using like Ubuntu or something. Um, but that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's have some fun. All right. So what we're going to be doing um, in, in this video, we'll be using Ansible and AWX, which is very close to Ansible Automation Platform to essentially um, create a playbook to allow us to patch um, our server and then schedule it for monthly in this case, but you can schedule it for however long you want. Um, so what we'll do here, so we'll go to our Ansible Playbooks uh, repository here in GitLab and we will edit our GitLab um, project here by adding a patching.yaml file. So this is essentially the playbook that we're going to create for patching. Um, so what we'll do here is specify the host. Um, in this case, we'll we'll variableize it and use AWX to essentially define which host that we're going to do. Um, but we'll also set a default too in case um, we don't have one um, in here. Then from there, we'll create some tasks. Um, so the nice thing about this is you can essentially create as many tasks as you want um, and things like that, but we're going to keep it pretty simple. So the first task we'll do is update um, packages. So we'll use the built-in yum module. So Ansible built-in yum. And we will update everything. So we'll wildcard that. And we'll make sure that it is updated to be the latest. Um, in regards to the um, modules, you can actually search Ansible and then yum. Um, and you can see it'll pop up the module name here so that you can actually see and check, you know, all the variables that you could, uh, parameters that you can add in here. Um, in this case, I'm just doing a very simple where I just have the name and the state, but you can also do a lot of other things too. Like if you just want to update like security, latest security stuff and stuff, whatnot. So you can go there and check. So that will essentially patch our server. That will update everything we need. Um, but what we also want to add in here is if, you know, some packages such as like kernel packages needs a reboot, after um, it is installed, we want to also reboot the machine. Um, so we're going to try to cover that case where we will reboot it if it needs it, but won't if it doesn't, right? So um, what we'll use is actually the needs restarting um, command that you can install, um, but we need to make sure that yum utils is installed. So uh, make sure yum utils is installed because that's where the needs restarting command comes from. So what we'll do is make sure built in yum and we'll make sure yum utils is installed um, because if it's not, it won't work. And then what we'll do is see if the server needs rebooting. Um, so here we'll actually use the built in um, shell where essentially this is just a shell command that we can run. Um, so what we'll do is actually runs the needs rebooting, uh, needs restarting command. 
um, hyphen R to see if it is. And we'll output the output to dev null. Um, so to show you what, what this actually does here is if we were to log into one of our servers, um, make sure yum utils is installed. We can run the command needs restarting hyphen R, which will essentially say, hey, you know, it'll I'll put either, hey, these uh, libraries need needs a reboot or they don't. So in this case, they don't. Um, and then what we would do is essentially echo the command um, status from the last previous command. So in this case, a zero means it doesn't. If it if it needed, it would be a one. Um, but the problem with with um, how we're doing it is essentially, I don't want this output to output also. So what we will do is do a I'll put this to dev null, and then we will echo the latest command like this. So essentially, it will only echo the latest status, right? So we're gonna end up just putting it um, the output for restarting to this, and then get the output of the command. Um, so we got that, and then we will echo the last command. And then how you do variables is you would use the register, and then we'll just variableize it needs restarting. Um, so what I'll also do is actually put a debug in here um, so that you can see the variable um, Ansible, but you won't need this in your actual patching, but I'm gonna put it in here for um, purpose of showing. Um, and what we'll do is actually output the variable needs restarting in here. So essentially now we have the case that it will see if it needs restarting. If it does, um, reboot machine if needs restarting, right? We will use the Ansible built-in reboot command and we'll set the reboot timeout to be 600 seconds. And this will only run, so we'll use the when statement, which is kind of like an if statement um, in, in like bash or any other like uh, coding. So when is like if, this, this will happen when this condition is true. So we'll set needs restarting the variable and then standard out. And I'll show you why it's standard out when, when we show the debug. When standard out is equal to one, um, then it will run this command. So that is pretty much for the patching. So let's commit this. Adding patching playbook. We'll commit that to main. And then this will deploy out to our Ansible um, server and uh, update the project in our Ansible tower. Um, two, 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 five, six. So we will go to our AWX instance. We'll log in. And we should be able to see that our project just updated. Um, so yep, it just updated. What we'll do here now is create a new template patching, color patching. We'll select the inventory here, which is our inventory that we have. Um, and then we'll select the, the playbook, which we would call patching. Um, we will also set the credentials for root so that it will use our root credentials to log in. And then we will save here. Um, and then we'll go actually to surveys because this will make it a little bit easier. Um, what is the host name? Um, that we want to specify for the host that we will set to run. We'll set to host name and text. So now we can see here that we have our template. We can actually launch it. Oh, wait. It's weird because you actually have to uh, enable it, the survey. Enable the survey. There you go. And then we can run it. So run it and we will type in demo because we are our so we have a server named demo. So we will try to update our demo server. So now we can run it. Um, so AWX will essentially go through and run through this. Um, so this might take a few minutes actually for it to run um, because I there's there will be a lot of packages to update. So while that is running on the back end, I will show you what you can do is so after you run it initially, um, you can schedule the job. You can actually go to schedules here and we can add a schedule. So run patching monthly, monthly. 
um, you can select a start time or select start date. So say for example, we want to run it like on the first of the month at, you know, like um, 2 a.m. Um, and we want it to run every month, runs once every month on the first day of the month. Um, you can also do the first like Sunday or like the weekdays, um, but in this case we would do like the first of every month. Um, and we can, we'll just essentially have it recurring always. Um, and you can add exceptions and stuff like that for like um, this month um, and things like that to um, do exceptions if you want to cancel it. Um, and then we have to hit prompt here and we will set the host name to be demo. Um, you can do this for, you know, multiple hosts and whatnot. So we'll save this. Um, so once you have it set for the frequency and everything, you can hit save. And so essentially on 12.1.1.2.1, um, it will run at 2 a.m. every single time and it will run this playbook to patch this specific server. Um, so you can set it to run monthly, weekly, whatever your, your cadence is to run. And you essentially just let it run and then you know, you'll know you always be patched and you won't even have to worry about patching. Um, so now that you know you can how you can schedule it via Ansible Tile, we're gonna go back. Okay, so we can see that the update packages has finished and you can actually click on it and go to like the JSON and see what the results were. So you can see that these are all in these all these packages got installed. Um, and it was a lot of packages. Some got removed because of our old packages. And you can kind of just see the full log from it. Um, as we kind of go through, it's gonna make sure that you know certain things are installed. So we'll give it um, a few more seconds here to let it load. And so we can see that um, it actually installed Yummy Utils because it actually changed. So um, how Ansible works is everything's item component. So if it isn't already installed, it would have, it would install it. If it's already there, it would say no changes. Um, so what I wanna show here though is, so when we did the needs rebooting, you can see that in here that the STD out um, is essentially one because that's what the output of the command would have ran. Um, so we that's what the variable was for and that's why we used the STD out because we wanted to grab specifically this value and compare it when running this. So you can see that this actually rebooted the machine because the status actually changed. Um, so it actually reboot was true. So like say for example, I, I want to relaunch this, right? So I'm gonna relaunch the job there shouldn't be any new packages to update and it shouldn't reboot here um, because essentially everything's already there. So we can see as we rerun it, everything's okay because all the packages are up to date now um, and yum utils is there. And you can see now that in here, the value for S the STD out of the command um, is zero. So it should also skip this so it won't reboot the machine. So. Now you've a successfully would have created a patching playbook that you've scheduled monthly that you will run against your machines and it will patch and reboot if needed. So there you go, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.